Okay, go ahead and give us a my uh, give us a mic test and uh, let us know if you can see the screen. Okay. We will get started in a couple minutes here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Jesus, how you doing out there, man? Good, good. Like I said, a little under the weather here, but yeah, you know, that's New York. Ninety degrees, sixty degrees, <laughs> drives you nuts. But no complaints, all good. Oh. All right. What's going on, everybody? How's this market treating you? I'm sure it's driving some of you guys insane while it's paying some other of you. Yep. Especially um, the fang players out there, right? Staring at uh, Netflix all day long, or yep, getting nowhere. Drive you nuts! Drive you nuts! <laughs> I think Netflix was the precursor to all of this, though. <laughs> oh yeah, monster move. All right, one more minute here. We will get started. Uh, before I get started, I'll go ahead and uh, and leave you guys with a, a discount code here that you can use to uh, check out one of the new products here, the ones that we are going to be talking about today. Uh, this is a course just on uh, flow trading, uh, and we're adding in a lot of cool stuff, and we'll talk about it during this webinar too. But first... The topic at hand. All right, so we are about ready to get started here. Uh, anybody have any issues whatsoever on the uh, audio or anything like that? Let me know. Seth, where are you? Are you recording here, buddy? <laughs> or am I recording? I tried to hit you up on Slack here. Dear Seth. Okay, I got you. There he is. All right, go ahead and start it right now, buddy. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, Lucci and Jesus here to kick off some uh, summer trading series here for you, uh, flow trading series here for you, and we're going to start off here with a very, very important topic, probably the most important topic, uh, why options order flow, what exactly is it, and how is it tracked, uh, and why is it so valuable us to our crew, to uh, to Wall Street Jesus, as well as our overall trading strategies, and it ties also to many different trading strategies. Whether you're a scalper, you're a futures trader, where you know you just want to get a good read on sentiment, uh, or you're a swing trader. Okay, so it applies to many different strategies, and today we just want to talk a little bit about why it is so valuable uh, to these strategies. So, uh, Jesus, why don't you go ahead and kick us off with uh, a little definition here, uh, and let's talk a little bit about what is uh, what is the flow that we speak of, uh, and what are we talking about when we say that? All right, cool, and thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for showing up. Um, and yeah, I definitely would like to drill home the point of. Uh, you know, how this is different from a lot of the order flow that's out there, uh, you know, because uh, a lot of people have the misconception uh, that we're, you know, we're sharing unusual option activity data. And, I mean, the, the sort of stuff that everybody on social media and a lot of services out there have been doing for years now, okay? And that's where any block size trade in calls or puts uh, we're scanning for or any unusual activity volume that's more than usual will cut, be picked up on some scanner and we get the alert and we tail that alert okay and it couldn't be further from what we actually do here all right I mean one we're focusing solely 
on aggressive activity. Okay, all these terms you hear me throw out there on Twitter and everywhere else about uh, sweeper this and sharp bat that and all that stuff. I mean, what it all comes down to and what it all means is basically an aggressive buyer, an aggressive player in the options market. Okay, and unlike, again, many other services and many other players out there that focus on the actual bet, um, we're just looking for the nature of the order, basically. In simple English, as long as the order is aggressive and was processed aggressively, stressing that urgency, that's basically all we're looking for out of all this order flow. So we're concentrating on that solely. Okay, we're not focusing on big volume. Uh, in my opinion, by the time the big volume gets there, it's too late. All right, a lot of times uh, you'll see me refer to a 500,000 lot sweep in a name. And it could be a name like Facebook, okay, which that's peanuts for. But we're looking to catch that aggressive buyer early in the process because what it comes down to is very simple. We're using and trying to utilize this intel and information as an indicator of momentum, okay? And you, you'll see here, uh, Lucci has a screen up of what we call the tote board there. And uh, again, it's normal flow throughout the day, but every single order has something in common in where it was processed, again, aggressively. The player was stressing urgency and an urgency to get filled more about what price he's getting filled at, if that makes right. sense. And okay, uh, so we've got a question here already coming in from, uh, from Venkata. Uh, how do you define aggressive? And that's something that we define in detail uh, in the course that we are introducing here. So what does it mean when it's aggressive? How do we know or how do we define that it's a sharp, uh, that it's actually a sharp bet? And I'll give you guys a little example. And again, this is something that we go through uh, in detail here uh, in the course here. And you guys all have the link uh, in your questions box. Take a look at this level two on LinkedIn in here, if I, me as a retail trader, right, if I, uh, let's say, aggressively wanted to buy uh, 100 contracts or 200 contracts in this LinkedIn, how would I go about sending that order? How would I go about sending that order, okay? And one of the things that, I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do is that I can't just sit here on the bid. I mean, I could and hope to get filled, right? Or what could I do? I could go ahead and jump the spread here and take the offer. Okay, so this is one of the ways that you can define aggressive style trading. Now, smart money has a lot of uh, tools that, that to their advantage here where they can do a lot of cool things with spreads like this and they can make sure, they can ensure they get good prices on their aggressive uh, uh, you know, buy orders, sell orders, whatever it might be, hence why we call them sweep orders, okay? And we're not going to give you all of it because, again, this is our little secret sauce here uh, that we are pushing in, uh, you know, this class that we do have, okay? So it's going to define for you uh, what is aggressive and, and how are these orders executed, okay? And that's how we define uh, if something is aggressive or not, okay? How that order is executed. Okay, and that's specifically what we're looking for as far as the uh, the flow that we go ahead and port into the Steam Room as well as the private Twitter feed. So, uh, so Jesus, moving on here, uh, you know, why is uh, you know wh what do, what do you feel like other groups get it wrong, uh, and then why is it so valuable here uh, for us to use? Yeah, okay, and it's it's pretty simple. Okay, it, it's I mean it's based on experience. Uh, I was part of that other group per se, okay? Uh, I, I've tailed unusual option activity throughout my career many times. Uh, couldn't find any consistency as far as making money there. I've tailed size orders, big action. Uh, again, just buying the same uh, strike and target they're buying, you know, the month and so forth. Uh, trying to replicate exactly what these sharp players were doing. Uh, but I realized that I only got one little piece of the story there, and again, it cost me money. I wasn't making any money, uh, especially anything consistent. So, but what I did realize was there was a group of that action, okay, as we refer to that aggressive action. Unlike the unusual volume, unlike the size order out there, there was one uh, selective group out of all that action that I would follow on a daily basis. Okay, that was a very strong indicator 
of possible momentum coming into that underlying in that name or ETF, security ETF, whatever it was in, and momentum coming now. Okay, and that's that's basically um, what I fine-tooled everything I was doing, and that's all I wanted to focus on. Where can I see a reaction in that name now? And then plan accordingly. So that, that's, that's the major difference, okay? Uh, a lot of times, here, here is a perfect example. I'm not even trading options, okay? For those of you who don't know, a lot of people think they've got to come in here and just trade options, okay? And just follow some scanner and so forth. I'm trading the underlying, the common stock, the equity. All right, so it just gives you an example how it's a lot different than everything else out there. And like I said, this course... Uh, that Lucci and I worked on uh, very closely and elaborated on every little detail we possibly could, uh, stresses every single thing and why, you know, every single detail of why, why we're looking for, what we look for, and why it works, okay? Why is it such a strong indicator of momentum coming into a name, and we see it time and time again. So that's the major difference, okay, is we're not tailing action or some scanner there. Uh, we're looking for a certain behavior uh, of the way the order was processed, and then we have a game plan uh, that follows accordingly. Right, right. And could you talk a little bit about uh, the sheer volume in options here? We're getting a bunch of people that are asking us, you know, uh, uh, why isn't this particular order better? What is it about, uh, you know, uh, sweep orders? What is it about the type of order flow that makes it valuable? Uh, we got Evan saying, I saw $100 million on McDonald's options order flow yesterday. Looked like profit taking. Can you throw out there why... Why, uh, you know, looking at all the action that happens in the option space is more or less useless here. Totally, absolutely useless. Okay, and it comes down to simple things if you think of it logically. One, unless you know these players personally, you have no idea what's behind these bets. Okay, a guy, you could see an order for 10,000 contracts of McDonald's calls. You have no idea what's taking place behind that scene, behind the scenes. Okay, is that player hedging? Is that player, uh, you know, uh, putting up that position against a portfolio? Uh, you know, he may short stock against it the following day. You have no idea unless you know each and every player who's right. processing these orders personally. What's going? What's the true incentive behind them? Okay, unlike the action that I'm focusing on, here's what it comes down to. All right, I'm, I'm putting it in simple English and not in option terms because I'm not an options aficionado, guys. A lot of people think, you know, they put me in that category with everybody else on, on Twitter and you, I don't need to mention names, you know them, but I'm, I'm not some options guru, okay? I'm just using the, the options tape to selectively pick out certain order flow that, can, that I can see a reaction to right now. Okay, and it's got nothing to do with the option or the bet itself. And here's the simple, the simple English part of it right here. If Lucci, if you got a little wink, hypothetically, okay, let's say your uncle who works for Facebook comes over to you and says, "Listen, Lucci, this Facebook's got to go. Yep. It's got to go, and you got you got to do what you got to do to own this thing." Okay. Right. What is Mr. Lucci going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to come into the market. Are you right. going to open up size call spreads? Are you going to uh, sit on the bid and bid for some stock? At a, you know what I mean? What, yep. the, there's only one course of action you would take. As soon as you hung up the phone with your uncle, you'd go to where you had to go, and you would sweep multiple offers to get as much of Facebook as you possibly can. Right. Right? Right. And that's the action that I'm focusing on. Okay? And I get a question a lot. Well, it could be protection. Yeah, of course it could be protection. But it's the same thesis. It's the same behavior. That player is stressing urgency to put on protection for a reason. Right. Okay? Which means the same thing, doesn't it? Absolutely. All right. So, so that's why I solely concentrate on this type of order flow. Now, not every order that hits the tote board, as you know, Lucci, is going to mean something. Right, it's, guys, there is probably, uh, what, what is it, uh, 
Uh, how many how many contracts get traded on a daily basis here through SIBO? What is it? Uh, what, is, what, is, what is the number? Uh, is, I have to learn puts it out there every day. I, I say it's got to be like what eight hundred? Hold on, I could get it for you right there. But there's a lot. We spoke yeah, about this. It's well uh, in the millions, sixteen or some odd million, probably more than that uh, on an average on an average yeah. day. And watching all this, especially on the indexes. I mean, if you go ahead and take a look uh, at a options chain on the indexes. I mean, you can spend forever sitting here trying to figure out what's going on with, uh, you know, spy bets and things like that, put bets, uh, you know, hedges, whatever's going on. Um, we want to look. We, we're going to sit there and filter through some of this stuff and look at what was the most aggressive order, okay, and what was the most aggressive sweep style order where somebody just wanted some risk. Somebody just wanted to put on some risk, and that causes a little cascade effect, okay? And this is something that we explain in the course in detail, okay? With market makers, uh, with everybody else that wants to get involved, uh, with hedging while these things are happening, there is a cascade effect that happens. We'll give you a, we'll give you a sweet example here. Jesus, why don't you go ahead and line up this JCP for them, and then we'll give them, a, we'll give them an example, and then we'll close it up here with some questions. Yeah, and by the way, it's uh, th today. I think there was like 13 million traded, and that was below average today. That's okay. below, right? Yeah, that's below million, average. That's below average. We're usually hanging around somewhere around 16 million, somewhere around there. Uh, you know, that's a lot of options activity to filter through. Now, if you, as one man, are going to sit there and try to figure this out and try to look at 16 million options trades, uh, it's not possible. It is, it is not possible, and it is a rabbit hole that just never ends here, okay? Yes. So we have simplified a lot of this for you, uh, and again, this is something that we talk about in detail with the course, but let's give them an example on the edge and how some of this might work. Uh, Jesus, why don't you go ahead and set up this, uh, this JCPenney today? Yeah, so, I mean, JCPenney JC is just a, a perfect little example because if you, you were looking for size, okay, if you were looking for what a lot of the other services out there are looking for, um, you would be looking for some big order to come into JCPenney, where actually the opposite uh, kind of happened there. And you can see Lucci has up on the screen there the tote board, and look at some size of these bets, 15,000, 31,000, 37,000. But if Lucci scrolls through that tote board, you're going to see several of these bets come in in a short amount of time, okay? So that's obviously, whether it's some machine out there, Algo, or it's some player out there, somebody wanted to own these JCPenney calls, and he wanted to own them now, yep. okay? So as okay. soon as we pick up on that action, obviously there's things, we have a game plan, and there's things we're prepared and looking to do. Uh, but you can see on the chart there, when you see that type of action coming in, and it's a perfect example. They're twenty, thirty thousand dollar bets, guys. Okay, everybody else is not even paying attention to this. And this is the stuff I, I'm focusing on. This is the epitome of the type of action I like to see. Okay, multiple sweeps, rapid fire, one after another, small in size, because they're better when they're under the radar. You know, a lot of these guys, they're not going to come out and just buy a fifty thousand buck and let the whole world see. You know what I mean? They come in and they sneak in and they come in right after the other uh, and usually you'll see uh, the volume swell and so forth. And like I said, without giving away too much of the juice, uh, we go over all the details in the course uh, right. and how Lucci plays these things, how I play these things, right. and again, how you could just use it for a variety of things, okay? That's the beauty of this action is that you do not have to tail the action off the tour board. You don't have to. You don't have to uh, uh, put on a trade on J.C. Penny if that's not your style. There are right. several other ways to use this order flow uh, and incorporate it into your style to make you feel comfortable and still provide an edge. Right. I mean, me personally, like for example, and I'll give you guys a trade that I'm working on right now is that I'm I'm sitting in some of these banks long, right? Because uh, you know, so far the flow has been pretty aggressive on Citigroup, uh, and then as well today. We got a lot of Bank of America buying for next week, uh, just for these 15 calls, and then we also got some July buying, uh, I think towards the end of the session here, uh, out to about 15 and a half, I believe it was, Jesus, yeah. uh, if yep. I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if I'm I can not sure find about it. The
Uh, there was a lot of action out there today. Yeah, there's a lot of action on the Bank of America here. Let's see if we can find it. There was a lot of action on the uh, July, uh, I believe it was July. There was, uh, yeah, here we go, here we go. So a bunch of it here, July, last week of July, or second to last week in July, 15 and a half calls. Good amount of, uh, you know, good amount of buyers here in the Bank of America. And again, it's only 200 grand, but it's how these orders were bought, okay, that give me the sign that, okay, whatever I'm looking at, whatever analysis you currently use, whether it's technicals, whether it's, uh, you know, tape reading, whatever the hell it might be, uh, when things line up together here and you get confirmation that somebody else is throwing out some big money behind you, that's the juice that I use, uh, you know, to, to uh, build into some pretty uh, aggressive swing trades uh, that I can take for a couple of days. I can, get, I can give you another one here. AMD was a great one. Uh, this was back uh, during this consolidation. We saw tons of $4 call buyers, $4.5 call buyers, all the way out to August and September. And then you'll start to see them coming in shorter expirations. Uh, so these guys essentially start these moves and they start these cascade effects here uh, that I go ahead and follow in and just uh, and, and try to follow along. We're getting a ton, a ton of questions right now. Guys, we're going to take these uh, after, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're finishing up here. But again, this is the true edge here as far as using the options order flow with whatever strategy you might have. We have future traders who just want to use things for sentiment. So now, if you're a futures trader, if you're an ES guy, and you're seeing Q bets, you're seeing IWM bets, you're seeing SPY bets, everything, you're seeing bullish activity across the board, well then, you know, if you might, if you, let's say, have a short bias here, this is a good, good tool to keep your bias here uh, from, from hurting you, from really hurting you, as it does a lot of people. I think everybody would raise their hands when, uh, you know, we go ahead and ask, does your bias hurt your trading uh, and, and uh, you know, the, the direction you want to play? You see this IWM right here. I'm happy you brought that up, Luigi. If you can, um, can you switch to my screen or you can scroll down on your tote board, whichever is... Sure. Uh, sure, easier. Down. Okay, so I'm glad you brought that up because this is a, a, just a perfect example, and I, I want to nail this home because again, uh, the misconception that you have to trade a certain way in order for this to, uh, you know, provide an edge in your trading style. If Lucci scrolls back all the way to the morning, okay, try to go back to all the way around uh, 10:30, 11 o'clock in the morning. There you go. I think you passed yep. it. Okay, good. All right. You can see some bearish action came in. All right. The market was lower and lower throughout the morning. Okay. That was pretty much, we, we were actually red going into the afternoon, right, Luchi, for a while there. Yeah, I think. we gapped down. We gapped down and we had a little sell program push us down towards that 209 area. And a lot of people were thinking, uh, you know, we might even sell off today. So there was a, you know, there was a, there was a, some good downward pressure here on the tech names as well. Uh, you know, a lot of people were thinking uh, a little bit of bearish here before we turn up again, whatever the case is. Yeah, so perfect example, okay, that you don't, you didn't need to trade one order off the tote board, okay, and you could trade any style, whether it's futures or you're just trading spy, whatever the case may be, uh, and this could have helped you at the least save yourself money today. Okay, if you were looking to get short, if Lucci scrolls up now a little after 10 o'clock on the tote board, you see nothing but green now. Right. Now, keep in mind, the market's still weak. The market was red all morning, early afternoon. But this poke board, okay, starts to light up green, and yep. you really have to search hard for uh, an aggressive put buy if they hit that tote board. So there's, there's two ways you could have played it. If you were looking to get short, uh -uh, that's not the time. You sit on your hands and do nothing now because the aggressive money is telling you not to, not to do that, obviously. If you were looking for an entry into weakness earlier this morning, this is telling you this is probably a, a decent range where you can look to get long because the flow is bullish. They're utilizing this weakness to get long names, okay? So you don't have to be an options trader. You don't have to be, um, you know, trade unusual activity or trade certain stocks to for this information to provide you an edge. Yep. All right, so that's what you've got to understand. This is more than very rarely do we focus on the actual bet, okay? Unless the auction, the, the activity is real, really sharp, okay, really aggressive in size, and there's repeat activity, we rarely focus on the bet. All the bets tell us is give us a guide and give us an idea of where we're looking to position money. I just right. want to qu quickly mention Lucci, because this is perfect what you do. Lucci, it, 
I mean, he does this to a T. He only plays off the action when it coincides to what he's already looking for. Okay? So he'll sit there and I, you know, let's say I buy IBB because he likes the biotech group. And he'll wait for call sweepers. And when yep. call sweepers confirm what he's already looking at, okay, that's his go. So that, that's just another way, guys. There are several, several ways. Uh, we go over all of it in the course in detail. Uh, and we do it, you know, in the chat room on a daily basis as well. But we really go in detail how we both use this information. Absolutely. And by the way, uh, on the course, what you're going to get is some live sessions from us. So you're going to get order flow review sessions for swing trading, for how to analyze sentiment, and for uh, intraday trading. So whatever your strategy might be here, you're going to get live sessions every single week uh, with new examples, fresh steam out there to analyze and go through, fresh trades to go through. Uh, that way you can continue, continue, continue to refine your analysis uh, and figure out what strategy works best uh, uh, for you. So there's a lot of value that we're roping in uh, to this particular course. Number one, you'll get a nice course video library uh, just discussing sweep activity, what it is, how to set it it all up, uh, how to define, uh, you know, opening versus closing orders, <coughs> option seller spread orders, uh, liquidity, uh, and then some advanced topics as far as uh, option exchanges too, uh, and then how to read sentiment, many different examples here that we're going to use for you too, uh, and then on top of that, what we are going to do is is throw in trading, sec trading psychology, this is a whole uh, uh, section from uh, previous course, the Lucci method, which we sold for about 1,200 to uh, uh, 1,500 or so. Uh, so I'm going to take out the whole trading psychology section there, throw it in here as well. Uh, we're also going to do consultations here for you. A lot of you guys are trying to automate these days. A lot of you guys are trying to do different things here with your strategies. Uh, we have a whole back-end team here uh, that is currently working as well. So we automate a lot of strategies in-house. Uh, and we have a lot of expertise when it comes to, uh, you know, getting up automated strategies uh, and then just overall, uh, you know, helping you with the risk side, what you need to uh, account for uh, if you haven't already. Uh, so that's a uh, great value there as well. Uh, also, we'll let you know, uh, you know, optimization on the brokerages. So, you know, where you should where you should broker with what type of strategy you have, uh, how you can take advantage of better commissions if you do, uh, you know, decent volume out there. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to get the live sessions here too, as well with us. And on top of that, if that's not enough here, you're going to get one free month of the Steam Room here, so you can join us in here. Uh, currently, we 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 bill everybody for about 200 bucks a month, uh, you're going to get one free month completely here. So there's a lot of value here uh, as far as what is included uh, for this particular class. Uh, let's go ahead and take some questions. There's tons of questions here, Jesus. Let's go ahead and start off with uh, Jim Juarez. Uh, if I buy an option, do I lose only premium or can I lose 100% plus, okay? So uh, this, is a, this is a basic question, and uh, you know, for anybody who's just starting out with options, this is something that you definitely got to know. Uh, let's say I buy 10 contracts of this option here at $0.84, cents, and let's just pull up a little uh, notepad here for you guys. Let's say I buy 10 contracts here, 10 contracts times the 84 times the 100 bucks for the 100 shares, uh, and you have, what do you have? You have 840 bucks, okay? That is the max that I can lose here, okay? So max loss on this position uh, is 840 bucks, all right? And the max gain is uh, wherever the hell this thing can go, I mean, within the expiration. So this expiration is tied to uh, tomorrow. Uh, so however high this thing goes, let's say it goes to 140 bucks, this option is worth $3. Uh, I'll, I'll make triple my money here or quadruple my money here. Um, so anytime you buy an option, aka you go long an option, so this is confusing for a lot of people, you're going long a call and you're going long a put. Okay? Okay, that means you're buying the option. That means that the only way you can make money is if you sell it at a higher price. Okay? Now, if you're opening to sell, okay, and this is, again, this is an advanced topic here for some of you guys who haven't traded it, uh, you know, on the sell side a lot, uh, but let's say I go ahead and sell these contracts at $0.80, cents, 
then my max loss here is going to be the reverse. My max loss could be anything, and my max gain is going to be defined, because my max gain is when this option goes to zero. Okay? And again, we talk about short options as well uh, in the steam room as well as in the class. I am a big fan of shorting options as well, especially on Friday things like that. Um, and a lot of the smarter players out there, this is all they do. This is all they do. And Jesus will uh, you know, post a lot of large put sellers and call sellers out there as well. That's stuff that we talk about uh, in the course too. Uh, so what else we got? Uh, Venk, we already got yours. Uh, Tomer's got a good question. Hi, won't a 5,000 non-sweep trade create more momentum than a smaller number of shares sweep? Uh, talking about market maker response and etc. Uh, what, what would you uh, what would you say to that one, there, Jesus? No, I, that's uh, otherwise I would just focus on size uh, to whoever they're right. asking that question. And here's the thing: um, a lot of times, if, if you see a size block, okay, and it's opening and it's not tied to stock, um, and basically, you know, not stock replacement, so just a clean buy order of a large uh, block of contracts, okay you will see that market maker hedge, okay? But that doesn't mean necessarily that that block is going to generate momentum beyond that hedge from that market maker, okay? So even though you see maybe a spike in volume and a pop off the order, a lot of times they'll just fizzle out, okay? They'll retrace that move, especially, especially if the market maker has an idea that it wasn't a legitimate bet. Okay, so the reason the action that I look at is different, uh, I would say, again, these are rough numbers off the top of my head, 75 to 80% of the legitimate sweepers that we look to play, you will see some sort of momentum generated from that name. Okay, how long it lasts, how, how strong the momentum, is, you know, depends on a lot of the factors, and we go and list all those factors uh, in the course as well. Okay, but as far as looking for momentum and momentum only, this is this is you know where I solely focus. A lot of times, if I see size blocks, I shy away because you and everybody else see them. You know what I mean? You and every other retail trader out there is looking for size blocks. And if you think you could just tail some ten thousand calls every time you scan for it and make money, yeah, you're you're, you're truly mistaken in this That's game. It's not that real. easy real ugly and and those of you guys who have been around and and you've even traded order flow as well you guys know as well as we do here it doesn't work like that uh sunny here has got a great uh, great question here uh actually tomer here has another question follow-up question jesus trades stock but jcp didn't move much today off eight eight and a quarter so how does he make money off jcp knowing he doesn't hold overnight well again there's there's strategies for everything so jcp is a scout and and jesus is an equity scalper here so you know even if you're making 10 20 cents and you're cutting down your risk on the downside here, that's still a great strategy for a scalper if you're looking for 500 bucks a day or $1,000 or, or a day. That's a great strategy, and that is a great living here. So, and, you know, it all depends on what you want to do. Right, and here's the thing I just want to hit home because I get this question a lot, okay? you you got to understand wh what what your game plan is, okay? you got to, before you even do anything in this market, you got to come to the realization and say, what am I? Okay, if you're a day trader, all right, and that's what I'm doing. If I and by the way, J.C. Penny, the action started under eight. Okay, so uh, it was a lot more than a five cent move or whatever you were claiming it was. Right. But uh, you know, the first action, I think you might have been showing the uh, the tack on action there. Keep going, keep going, yep. keep going. And uh, so, besides the point, when there it is, see eight dollars, and there's more yep. be before that. So if if I'm a day trader and I buy an eight dollar stock. Okay, and I see 25 cents inside a uh, five, 10 minute time span. What, right. what else do I want to see, Lucci? I mean, right. I'm a day trader. If you expect the stock to run 30% yeah. and you're looking this for day trades for a living that way, you are, you are in for trouble, okay? Because yeah. it's just not realistic. You know, yeah. you can't, you got to be one or the other. If you're a day trader, you're looking to take advantage of the intraday moves, whatever the market's willing to give you, you're going to take. Okay, and if you're a swing trader, you're looking for bigger moves over a longer time horizon. You can't mix up the two because you're asking for big trouble. And that's a and I'm glad we got that question because it's a common mistake. And we see it all the time, Lucy. People uh, get in off action and they see, you know, a twenty dollar name run seventy cents, but it wasn't enough for them. 
and you know you, you can't day trade that way so you got to understand before you even put on the trade what am I looking for here okay what's my game plan here and then you'll see how this can provide the true exit cool cool Vinny trader here's what's the difference between your private Twitter and the room here Jesus you want to grab that you want to get that one yeah, I mean, private Twitter is basically um, the order flow. Uh, sometimes, you know, I, I, I don't elaborate in detail. I just I'll, I'll throw some uh, throw some stuff in there in there regarding the order. But uh, the actual steam room chat, we're discussing, uh, you know, the order flow in detail. Right. And, and I'll give you an example. Uh, let's just say yesterday, data. There was an aggressive sweeper. Uh, there were probably like you know 20 different comments from me and other traders on that data throughout the course of the day uh, before it moved, when it started moving. So, and, and that's how you get a, an idea of what to look for and a feel for the flow. Okay, private Twitter is more if you already have a game plan, you're using this information as just an indicator, you know what you're looking for, then you could use private Twitter. If you want to learn, you know what to look for, how to look for it. Uh, it, learn a style to incorporate it into. I mean, that's what the the chat room is more for. Indeed, indeed. Um, let's see what do we got. Sunny here is saying, "Can I relate back to see the options flow uh, on a stock that uh, I'm about to trade?" Um, of course. I mean, uh, as far as the history, like we are continuing to build out uh, some of the technology that we do have here. So we are going to build out a searchable database that, uh, you know, you can download. Uh, and again, like we are constantly trying to improve uh, the speed at which we get this to you, uh, you know, all the other features that we want to roll out to you as well. Uh, we're also working on a lot of automation stuff for our traders as well. Uh, so all this, again, will be available to you with a subscription to the Steam Room. Uh, and again, of course, you can look back on data uh, and and see if it's something that uh, you know that you want to get into and that's what I, that's all that I do all I do is I look at five to ten stocks maybe and this win unfortunately I missed this one but I caught this MGM really good and MGM has had a lot of call flow over the past this whole move here and then even during this consolidation there was buyers at 22s 22 and a half and then recently here people just right rolling Right yeah, people are just rolling, rolling here, and just and just continuing to buy and buy and buy. Uh, you know this particular name uh, over and over. Uh, there was people even rolling the 24 calls here on this one too. Uh, so this one had a huge move here. You take a look at the win. I, like I think the win has more to go. Uh, I think we had another question on when. Uh, you know somebody was asking if the 102 calls today. Uh, you know was uh, was a rotation. Uh, you know easy way we can spot rotation and, and uh, Jesus does it often. Uh, and and again this is something that you have to delve into and 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 take a few minutes and, or take a good amount of time uh, to spend to figure it out. Uh, you know, but basically you're looking for closing transactions or similar size here, uh, and then a roll into uh, you know a further strikeout, maybe in further expiration, or uh, you know just in further uh, strikes, so further or farther away for, from the money. Um, you know, and this is something that, this is something that Jesus does for us, so he can he can uh, quickly tell if something is a roll or not. But on the indexes and on heavy, heavy traded names like a Bank of America or SPY, it's difficult. It is very difficult to determine uh, if something was a roll, if not, uh, you know. And, and again, these are things that if you try to spend way too much time thinking about or trying to figure out, you know, you're going to miss that momentum. You really are going to miss that momentum. So we don't want to talk too much about that because, again, this is something that we do discuss in uh, the course. So check out the, uh, check out the course. Uh, Dwayne is saying, how do you know when an option order is tied to an existing stock position? We get this all the time. Jesus, what do you got, man? Yeah, well, you know, I, I have a couple contacts um, that help me out a lot with that. Uh, that's just from being in the game 20 years plus. Uh, and on top of that, you know, guys don't realize there's a lot of cheap scanners out there. Again, a misconception. I mean, yep. Lucci, you can vouch. I spent two grand a month on on software yep. to help me out with all this stuff. So yeah, we spend a uh, lot of money. We spend a lot of money. And it's very difficult to even match the two worlds. So if somebody comes in and buys, let's say, I don't know, a million dollars of IWM calls, and you want to know if it's tied to stock, like realize, like, what are you going to do? How are you going to find that information out? Uh, unless you actually know the person that put in that order and you know the particular strategy that they were going for. IWM trades like crazy. Spy trades like crazy. These things trade millions of shares here. So unless you are part of the program that is doing the buying uh, or doing the hedging. Here, 
here, it's going to be very difficult for you to figure that out. We don't portend to be able to tell you exactly what every single one of these things mean. This is why we outline the aggressive style order type, and that's it's, our edge. That is exactly. Our edge. I'm glad you made that point because that goes back to the question we had earlier. That's why I'm not focusing on big blocks, guys. A lot of those, most of those big blocks are stock replacement, okay? Are tied to stock, are hedges, all right? Very rarely somebody's going to come in and buy 30,000 in one block um, just because he's bullish, okay? And trust me, we've seen names like Icon, you, every big hedge you know, um, and, you know, Icon just came out on that AGN recently that we saw action in. They come in and they're sweeping thousand lots, okay? And it's not just about that 1,000 lot. It's about them sweeping a thousand lot. Then into weakness, they're sweeping another thousand lot. Okay, like the J.C. Penny was an order after an order after an order after an order. It wasn't one big block for fifty thousand contracts. So you guys got to understand that. That's and there are many reasons why I'm focusing my attention. Okay, I've been through the ringer. Uh, like I said, I, I'm in this game twenty plus years. All right, so I, I have an idea of what to look for and what information is going to provide me an edge. Like Lucci mentioned, there's a gazillion buyers and sellers in the option market all day long. You can go dizzy trying to track them all. All right, I'm just focusing on a small elite group who's playing aggressively in the options market, and that's it. All right, and I have a game plan on how to take advantage of that, and that's what the that's what the course is, guys. Okay, because uh, here's here's what made us do the course. A common question that we get from a lot of subscribers since Lucci and I have started this thing is, you know, Jesus, I see the edge. I see it, okay? I see it happening. I just, I can't put it all together. You know what I mean? Now, they'll tell me, I'm a swing trader. How do I put it, put it all together? What should I focus on for me to find some consistently, uh, consistency swing trading off this stuff? Or day trading? Or I'm a futures trader? So basically, we did this video to cover all of that, you know? And Lucci threw in a lot of his stuff because that's what he focuses on. So you, you're going to learn about my style, you're going to learn about Lucci's style, you're going to learn how I used to look at this stuff when I was swing trading, because I was swing trading, I wasn't a day trader, I was swing trading uh, off this information. So you get all that and that's what the course is for. Uh, if you can't put it all together or having trouble coming up with a game plan, uh, that's, what the, that's what the course entails in detail. Indeed, indeed. And again, just covering the course, uh, we are offering a discount, too, for the course. So not only are you getting all this added value here, uh, as well as a month free of the steam room here, we're taking 100 bucks off this uh, this this uh, premium, too, as well. Okay, so you guys are going to pay a total of 399 here for one free month to the steam room. You're going to get a nice little trading psychology course, too, as well. Uh, you're going to get one month of live sessions every single week with uh, Jesus and I both analyzing the, uh, you know, the top intraday trades, the top swing trades, trades that I'm involved in, trades that Jesus is involved in. Uh, and on top of that, you get a private consultation uh, where we can just take a look at your trade. We can take a look at your strategy. We can advise you here on brokerage, commission optimization. We can advise you here as far as taxes and things like that. I mean, again, we both of all of us have been in the game for a while. We, we, we have dealt with all types of different business entities, uh, whether you're uh, you know, running a fund, running other people's money. Um, and then, uh, most importantly, is if you wanted to automate a part of your trade. This is huge. This is something that everybody wants to get involved in, but not a lot of people know how to, uh, and we can help you on that process, or at least tell you what you have not accounted for, uh, or what you're looking at as far as cost to uh, to build, cost to program, uh, you know, things on the risk side that you may not have thought about. Uh, so you're getting a lot, a lot of value here uh, for three hundred ninety-nine dollars. The live bucks. session, the live session in itself, guys, in my opinion, I think that's what's going to be most helpful. Like the course itself. You're going to be able to nail down the details, okay, in why it works, what it actually is we're focusing on, you know, the why, the how, and, and all that stuff. Um, but we've been doing webinars now, you know, for, for chat members, and what a difference from, you know, prior to doing the webinars. I mean, just more people get it. You, you know, you, you hear it explained, you can ask questions. I mean, that's the number one thing. You have to ask questions. You know, it's not just going to fall in your lap. So that the live session, I think, 
um, would be the you know the catalyst to get you to that next level to where you could come in with some confidence and have a have a game plan, have an idea of what to do before you even before that bell even rings in the morning. Indeed, indeed. All right, so we're going to close it here. Remember, we have several. Uh, we have a we have a series going on, flow trading series here Saturday at eleven o'clock. We have uh, built, or Jesus and I have put together uh, a sort of ten commandments here for swing trading uh, and ten commandments here for day trading. So we're going to talk about a couple of those bullet points uh, on things that you want to make sure you're doing uh, if you want to line up some swing trades using some order flow, or if you want to line up some intraday trades. Uh, you know things that you do want to be aware of whether you're trading options or stock we go through both of those as well uh, so definitely check us out Saturday at 11 o'clock you guys will get emails for them and you'll check on the Twitter feed uh, as well Tuesday uh, next week at 4:30. Uh, and again we're gonna take a look at some uh, you know some some vital things that you want to keep in mind uh, whenever you're going to put on uh, a trade based on some order flow, intraday or swing trading. Again, guys, you're getting a huge discount uh, for the course here, 100 bucks off, and you're getting all this value here. You guys have the link. Uh, you know what to do. Hopefully, we see you in the steam room. Uh, tomorrow is going to be super interesting here. we got the jobs number coming out, uh, and a lot of the flow is lining up to the bullish side. We'll see if it continues, uh, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys on uh, on Saturday. All right, Jesus, thanks for coming out, man. Yep, and thanks for coming out, everybody. Have a great night, and uh, we'll speak to you soon.